Why will Jesus Christ teach religion if we do not need religion? First of all, we have to examine the word religion. Biblically speaking, religion originally was written in Greek and the word used in Greek is treskia, which in Latin is religare and which in English is religion. Let us show that, Sister Luz. The meaning of the biblical word Threskia or religion. Greek Threskia from a derivative of Greek 2357 ceremonial observance, religion worshipping. Threskia means religion. Threskia means worshipping. So religion is synonymous to the word worship. Worship is synonymous to the word religion. Is speaking of the original word used in the Bible. Religion is a way to worship God, to serve Him. Do we need religion in order to be saved? I presume definitely that a person who do not want to worship God will not be saved. It is by worshiping God that we will be found worthy for salvation. Say that you do not need religion, it will amount to saying you do not need to worship God. Because treskia or religion is worshiping God. There are other thoughts in the word religion. For example, re legari. Re in Latin means again. It means again. In English also it means again. Re right. Re-elect is to write again and to elect again. Re-ligare, ligare means to bind, to join again. Religion is to be bound again to God. Why do we need religion? Because we were gone astray. The Lord says in the book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 7. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from mine ordinances, and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, said the Lord of hosts. Amen. From the days of your fathers, from the day of the patriarchs like Adam and those patriarchs of Israel, the Lord said, ye are gone away from mine ordinances. We have gone away from God. We have let Satan rule our lives. We live a life of sin, a sinful life, always doing what is against the will of God. That's why we were driven very, very far away from God. That's why we need reconciliation unto God. We must be again returned unto God. And there is where the word religion applies. That is, religion is to create again a connection between God and man. Relegari is to bind again man to God. We must be bound to God in order to have a peaceful and worthy life on earth. That's why we need religion. We need treskia. We need to worship God and to return to His ways. People or pastors saying, Oh, religion is not anymore needed. They are speaking out of their ignorance. Hmm? It is Jesus Himself who taught us the true religion. Why will He say that religion is not needed? The church is not needed. It is the Lord Jesus Christ who established the first century church. For a person to say that you do not need the church. It is just like slapping the Lord Jesus Christ on his face. Imagine he founded the church. He preached the church. Then he died for the church to say that we do not need the church. Why will Jesus Christ establish a church if we do not need the church? 
Why will Jesus Christ teach religion if we do not need religion? You reject the Lord Jesus Christ by simply rejecting the church which he established in the first century. We need the church established by the Lord Jesus Christ. We need religion. We have to worship God. And a part of religion is charity and self-sanctification. Self-sanctification is part of religion. Charity is part of religion. Let us read James 1.27. It says, Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. To keep oneself unspotted from the world is self-sanctification, individual sanctification. We must not be spotted by the lust of this world. We must not be entangled by vices and wrongdoings of this world. And James, the disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ, said, Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. So there are components of true religion. Number one is charity, to visit, to be compassionate to the fatherless and to the widows, to the less fortunate. To practice charity is part of the true religion in the Bible. It is pure religion and undefiled before God. That is to practice charity for the fatherless, the orphans, and the widows, and those who are less fortunate in society. And to keep himself unspotted from the world. These two things are components of the true religion. 